What's up, YouTube fans? Land Analyst here back with another video and a short disclaimer. This and the next video will be the only time you see me wear a Golden State hat, okay? I'm not a Golden State fan. Uh, I just have to throw on a different hat because uh, my other hat I'm washing right now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, disclaimer, this will be the only time you see this hat on my head. This video and the next video because I'm making them in the same day. So, that's a disclaimer. You will not see this hat ever again after today. Uh, I'll be back with my Atlanta Hawks hat. Okay, so this video is going to be about the NBA coaches that were fired and who I think should replace them. I made a, I made a list, and in my opinion, two of them should not have been fired. Uh, one of them was promoted. We're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to start off with Steve Clifford. Steve Clifford should have not have been fired. He's been the head coach for three years, made the playoffs two out of the three years, uh, and then, um, you know, this year he – his whole team got traded away. Uh, he got a lot of injured players, so he got. He, it wasn't. A, it wasn't an un. It was an unfair firing, in my opinion. Now, uh, Steve Clifford, who I want to replace him, the number one coach on my list, who I think would go perfect for this organization. Didn't like him in Portland. Terry Stotts. Terry Stotts will be uh, the coach to fit this young Orlando team. Uh, take them to the playoffs and compete in the playoffs. Uh, um, also, Kenny Atkinson is second on my list. Kenny is a great coach. He shouldn't have been fired from Brooklyn. Uh, you know, I, I personally think that Kenny was not given a fair chance in Brooklyn. Uh, Kenny is a great guy, great coach, uh, and he engages with his players. Uh, so, second, I mean third, Mike D'Antoni. Mike D'Antoni has actually showed interest in the, to the job. But in my opinion, Mike D'Antoni is just uh, such a great coach. Uh, it shocked me when he got fired from uh, Houston, but he's such a great coach. Uh, I love what he. I love what I saw from him when he was in Houston. Number four, Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell is a older, experienced coach uh, who can coach a basketball team, coach young guys, and get them where they need to be. Sam Cassell. Uh, has not been given a head coach uh, opportunity yet, but um, I think he should uh, be fourth on the list to be considered for the Orlando Magic job. Last on the list is I am Aduka. Uh, the, he's an assistant coach. He was a player. I think he was supposed to be hired two um, these past two years, but he never got hired. You know, teams just find a, a whole bunch of better coaches, but he should definitely be uh, fifth on this list to uh, coach the Orlando Magic. Let's move on to the Portland Trailblazers just to replace Terry Stotts. Uh, I felt like Terry Stotts should have been fired. He should have been fired uh, a year or two ago, but um, they gave him another chance. Um, I guess you could say rightfully so, but um, he failed again, so that's why he got fired. First on the list to replace him, Mike D'Antoni. Mike D'Antoni, again, has actually showed interest in this job. Uh, he showed interest in this job right here. So I like Mike D'Antoni for this job. He's number one person I'm going to consider on this list. Number two, Landon, you have not heard probably by any person who's making these videos. Brett Brown. Brett Brown needs to be back as a head coach. What are we doing? Brett Brown. Someone hire Brett Brown. He's a great coach. I love him. Uh, I felt like, uh, you know, if he was still with Philadelphia, I think he would still be doing good. I don't feel like they're number one. See, I feel like they're maybe a three or a four. But Brett Brown is a great coach. Someone hire him, and I think it's going to be the Portland Trailblazers or another team that I'm going to talk about in this video. So Brett Brown, he has to be uh, – he's second on my list to coach the Portland Trailblazers. Number three, Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond deserves a head coaching job. Give this lady a head coaching job. She deserves it. She's been on the Popovich. She's proved that she can coach. Uh, whenever Pop got thrown out, she coached, and she did such a great job. Uh, number four, Steve Clifford. Give this man another job. I know I'm raving like this. I, I know you guys probably don't like this, but give Steve, Steve Clifford deserves another job. Steve Clifford was unrightfully fired. And, okay, you can fire him from uh, Charlotte. But when you come down to Orlando, make the playoffs two out of three years, and that third year you're jacked up with injuries, and your whole team got traded away. And then you fire him in. That's totally wrong. Um, so give Steve Clifford another job. He's fourth on my list. Um, he's fourth in line for the Portland Trailblazers job if I am the GM. Alvin Gentry, last on my list uh, for uh, the head coaching job for the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, Alvin Gentry, uh, older coach experience coach. He knows what 
need, needs to happen in the playoffs. Uh, you know, he he wants guys to be together. So that's just what I think about um, you know, him being another head coach. I think you know he should be given another chance, but you know we'll see. So if I so now Brad Stevens, as you know, Brad Stevens was promoted to uh, the president. So who who's gonna replace him? He wasn't fired. Who's gonna replace him? Number one on my list. If I'm Brad Stevens, I'm just saying. If I'm Brad Stevens. Number one on my list, Chauncey Billups. Chauncey Billups can coach the Boston Celtics. Trust me, they can get a trade. If I was, uh, if I was the Boston Celtics, I would look to trade Kimba Walker and a future late second round pick to get Demar Derozan and a money exchange. That's exactly what I would do. Uh, you know, it's, it's just obviously, uh, you know, I don't know, it's, uh, it's really a trade that I think should happen, um, because the only reason I struggle on this, and I take so much time to think about it, even during the video, is because I like Kimba, I do, I like Kimba. And Kimball has been great, uh, but he hasn't. He's not been great with Boston. Um, you know, I, I think that tomorrow would be a lot better in Boston um, than Kimba. But Kimba can work into that Popovich tree, so that's good. Um, okay, Chauncey Billups, back on him. Chauncey Billups, great coach. He can coach those guys. All right, moving on. To number two, Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond, can coach. She needs to be considered. If I'm Brad Stevens, she's second on my list with Chauncey Bills first. Um, number three, Jason Kidd. I don't like Kidd uh, as a coach. But let me tell you, he's learned a lot under a championship team, under a lot of guys, uh, and he's been a head coach for two teams um, and has had pretty much a little bit of success. He's very big on player development. So... With all those young guys that Boston has, he'd be the perfect coach for them. Uh, number four on my list, if I'm Brad Stevens, Dave Yoger. Dave A. Yoger, why are we not hiring him, folks? Why are we not hiring him? Doc Rivers has him on his coaching staff right now. Hire Dave A. Yoger. That's why I want is, uh, my fourth option for uh, the Celtics job. Wes Unsell Jr. is my fifth and final uh coaching candidate for the Boston Celtics. He's just proved that he can uh, coach and, you know, he's just a, a, a good assistant coach under uh, Mike Malone. Number four, I woke up to this news completely shocked. Completely shocked. Uh, upset a little bit about it. Uh, insane. I think it's the first time it's ever happened. Nate, whoever the Pacers coaches, I can't pronounce his last name. Whoever the Pacers coaches, he should not have been fired. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're firing. We're firing first year coaches who have made a good leap with a whole bunch of moving pieces and injuries. Moving pieces and injuries. First year you fire him. Come on, come on. But I listened to the GM. And he said he wants more experience, coach. So, Brett Brown is my number one on the list because he's an experienced coach. And, you know, uh, I've heard news that if Mike Budenholzer gets booted, he, they're going to be hiring him. I already saw that news. They're going to they're gonna hire Mike Budenholzer if he's booted from uh, Milwaukee, which I don't think he's going to be booted from Milwaukee. That would be a big loss. So, you're going to hire and place him. Anyways, uh, Brett Brown. He's my number one coaching candidate on the list for the Pacers job. I cannot believe I'm even having this conversation about the Pacers job. But Brett Brown is number one on my list. Number two, Mike D'Antoni. I'm just going with experienced coaches here because that's what he said that he wanted. So I'm just making it realistic as possible. Mike D'Antoni, a lot of coaching experience. Um, and, you know, he, he's hung around a lot of players, a lot of great coaches. So why not give Mike D'Antoni the job? I know he's going to be hired after this year. Um... Number three, Steve Clifford. Uh, not the best record, but experience. He knows how to win, uh, and he knows how to develop his players. He knows how to bounce back after a loss. So Steve Clifford has to be a, has to be my third option for the Pacers head coaching job. 
Number four, Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd has a lot of coaching experience, player development, and that's what the Pacers need. And he's also been an assistant coach under uh, Frank Vogel and a couple other coaches for a good while. So coaching experience is definitely on his side. Jason Kidd is my fourth option for the Indiana Pacers job. Five and final for the NBA coaches, um, Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell, um, I personally believe that if Sam is given the job, he'll meet the criteria of what the Indiana Pacers want. So that's do it. That's gonna do it for my whole list. That's everybody who needs a new coach: Magic, Blazers, Celtics, Pacers. All of them need a new coach, and possibly the Washington Wizards and others. So, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and make another video. But yeah, guys, peace. Have a nice day.